In this video, I'm gonna show you how to record your screen, including internal desktop audio on a Mac, all for free. By the end of this video, you'll be a pro at screen recording on your Mac. Let's go. So the problem is, how do you screen record on your Mac, including internal computer audio? Because that's the big missing piece here. Apple's whole, it just works thing, totally does not apply here. There are some extra steps we need to do in order to record your computer's internal audio while you screen record. So in a moment, I'll take you through how to actually record your screen on a Mac, how to capture your computer's internal audio while you screen record, and a few bonus tips that can really elevate the quality of your videos. So make sure you stick around to the very end. All right, let's learn how to record your screen. To actually screen record, we're going to use QuickTime. This is something you already have installed on your computer. So let's jump on the computer and I'll take you through everything step by step. All right, you can launch QuickTime by pressing Command Space or by clicking this little search icon and typing QuickTime. So that'll launch the application and then you just wanna to go to File, New Screen Recording and that will pop open this little bar here. So these first three options here, these are for doing screenshots, so we don't care about those. We actually wanna do a screen recording. These two buttons here, this is what we want. So this button here lets you record the entire screen, and this button here lets you record a selected portion of the screen. You can move it around and choose you know, the area you want, but for now we're gonna just do record entire screen for this tutorial. And let's go through the options here. So you can choose where to save the file to. You can set this little countdown timer. This will like count you down before your video starts. I usually just set that to none. For microphone, I'm gonna choose none for now, but we're gonna come back to this. So this is actually where we're gonna choose computer audio input as your sound source. And we don't have that option as you can see. We don't have computer audio input here. So we're actually gonna get that set up in just a moment, but for now we're gonna keep this set to none. And then there's a couple extra options down here. Show floating thumbnail doesn't seem to do anything for me. Show mouse clicks also doesn't seem to do anything for me. And maybe it works for you, but if it doesn't work for you, I actually have a solution for this uh, at the end of this video. So stick around for that if you care about showing your mouse clicks. And I recommend choosing remember last selection so that it remembers what you have set up in these options. So now that we're all set with that, to record your screen, just click the screen you wanna record and it will begin recording. So we are currently recording. And let me just grab a video from my channel here and just start playing just as a demonstration here. So when it's time to stop recording, uh, just come to this little stop button at the top here, click that and boom, there you go. It's done. It saved our file to the desktop and here is our recording. Everything came through except for that internal computer audio. So let's work on getting that set up next. All right, so next we're gonna add the ability to capture your computer's audio input. And for this, we're gonna use a free piece of software called Black Hole. Now, what is Black Hole? Black Hole is a virtual audio device and it essentially lets you reroute your computer's audio output to be used as a microphone input when we're recording our videos. Pretty clever, huh? This is by far the easiest way I've found to do this, so if you do know an easier way, please feel free to share a comment below. All right, to download Black Hole, go to existential.audio slash black hole, and then just enter in your email address and name, and then click subscribe. So you'll get emailed a link like this. Just click the link in your email, and that will take you to this download page. Click Black Hole 2 channel and save to your downloads. So then just open up your downloads and double click to install. And then just follow through this installation wizard. All right, now that we have Black Hole installed, hit Command Space and type Audio MIDI Setup. This is gonna open up this Audio Devices dialog and you're gonna to wanna to click right here and you're going to want to create an aggregate device. Click the name here and rename this to Computer Audio Input. And on the right here, you're gonna to wanna to select black hole two channel. And you're all set for this. Come down here, hit the plus again, and create a multi-output device this time. And you're gonna to wanna to rename this one to headphones for recording. Now on the right, make sure external headphones is checked and then black hole two channel is checked. And they have to be in this order. So make sure external headphones is at the top and black hole two channel is underneath it. If they're out of order, you can just uncheck them and then check external headphones, black hole two channel, and you're good to go. After that, you're all set and you can close this dialogue. Here's a quick summary of the steps. You can just pause here if you need a minute to get things set up. 
All right, now that we're done being total nerds setting up virtual audio devices, let's try this out. All right, when it's time to record, put on your headphones and then come up here and select this little speaker icon and change that to external headphones. Then adjust the volume to how you want it. So whatever level you want it to be at and then select headphones for recording. So this is what you're gonna to wanna to choose whenever it's time to actually record. If you need to adjust the volume, you'll notice that you can't do that now, that's disabled. So if you need to adjust the volume for your headphones, just come back to external headphones and change it to the volume you want. And then when you're ready to record, just choose headphones for recording. You'll still be able to hear the sound through your headphones, but now we'll be able to capture it inside of QuickTime. By the way, if you want sound to come out of your speakers instead of your headphones, in the earlier step, you can set it up that way. Just choose speakers instead of headphones. All right, so now that we have this set up, let's open up QuickTime, start a new screen recording, and go to Options. And you'll see now we have the option to select computer audio input. So let's select that. And so now we can record with computer audio input. Let's just select this screen here. And I brought the video from earlier. Let's hit play on the video. And we'll pause there and we'll hit stop. And let's see if this came through. YouTube, all for free. There we let's go. Get into it. By the way, if you're getting value out of this video, hit the like button and subscribe so you can get more valuable content like this. So you may have noticed in this video that my clicks are visible and that I can use a spotlight to direct the viewer's attention to certain regions of the screen. And so this brings us to the first bonus tip I wanna share with you and it's this little piece of software called Presentation Assistant. It's not free, but it's the cost of a cup of coffee, three bucks. For what you're getting here, it's totally worth it in my opinion. All right, let me show you some of the features of Presentation Assistant real quick. So the mouse pointer is probably one of the things you're gonna care the most about here. And there are three different types you can choose from. So there is a ring, there is a spotlight, and then there's a disc. And these are all pretty cool in my opinion. My personal favorite is to use the spotlight and then set up a shortcut, which I've made Alt-1. And if you press Alt-1, it will turn it on and off. And that's really cool, because if you're trying to show somebody something, you can just hit Alt-1 while you're working and you can turn it on and off really, really easily just to call attention to a certain spot on the screen. So I recommend play around with this, all these cool little settings you can play around with. And then you've probably noticed as I'm clicking around, you can see this little yellow circle up here when I click, that's the mouse click feature here. And you can do things like change the size and change the opacity, how transparent it is. You can set up a shortcut for that too. Uh, if magnification enabled is toggled on, then you'll see it will have this little burst. So this piece of software can be really useful if you're doing tutorials and you wanna direct the user's attention somewhere on the screen. A couple other cool things, in preferences here, you can actually hide the desktop icons by toggling this switch on right here and you'll see that the icons on my desktop have disappeared. I think hiding your desktop icons can give you a really clean look for your videos. If show menu bar icon is toggled on, you'll then see this little pointer icon here in the menu bar and clicking that pulls down this really useful drop down menu where you can toggle things on and off really quickly. So for example, if you wanna hide desktop icons, you can just do that right from here. Anyways, I think this piece of software is really useful and it's totally worth the three bucks in my opinion. So one thing a lot of people struggle with is what do I actually make my videos about? And for this, we have the second bonus tip, which is the video ideas cheat sheet. Now this is a big cheat sheet packed full of video ideas and video formats, plus it's printable. So you can hold it in your hand while you're coming up with ideas. Just click the link in the description and enter your email and I'll send you a high resolution PDF of the video ideas cheat sheet. So you never run out of video ideas for your channel. Super useful. So now you know how to record your screen with internal computer audio on your Mac for free, plus a few bonuses. If you got value out of this video and you wanna keep going, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.